Let's get started with using the HD400 Edit software. First, make sure that you have the program installed. Run Line6Monkey to check and see if HD400 is already on your hard drive. If not, highlight the option and click Update Selection to let Monkey download and install the editor program onto your system from our website. Follow the on-screen instructions and you'll be walked through the program installation. Once the program is installed, connect your Pod HD 400 via USB and run the software editor. You will see the presets from your hardware device being synchronized or updated to the editor program during startup. Take a look at the presets lists in the program. They should match your HD 400's internal memory. Let's illustrate how easy it is to make changes to a program from the editor and save the new tone into the HD 400. Here, we've changed the amp model to a Highway 100 from the original Blackface Double. Effects 1, 2, and 3 have been bypassed. Then, we'll rename the program from 65 Clean to High Watt Test for demonstration purposes. Notice the asterisk by the name in 1A. This indicates to us that changes have been made, but not yet saved to the HD 400. To actually save the change sound in the HD400's internal memory, click Send Selected. The asterisk disappears when saving is complete. Conversely, you can make changes on the HD400 itself and back up the sound onto your computer. Here, we alter the amp model type and the tone control values directly from the HD400 for program 1B. We'll change the values for effects 1, 2, and 3 as well. Finally, let's change the program name to a different one. Hit the Save button twice to finalize the edit at the HD 400. The changes to the sound have occurred on the HD400 edit program, but the name isn't updated just yet, as indicated by the asterisk. Click Receive Selected to update the new patch information. Like any program, the File Save As feature allows you to save an individual patch file on your computer's hard drive. Many users like to back up all of their patches into a zip file bundle archive. Use the File Save Bundle option to do this. 